All right, so this is the second video for Boolean algebra, and uh, we are going to cover some of the operation theorems and laws which are being used for uh, simplify all these uh, logic expressions for a computer system. So fully for in algebra two. Okay. The first one, I right, so we will do this by giving examples, so it's more straightforward for you guys. So the first one you need to know is A or B and A or C equals to A or B, C. Okay, why is that? Let's prove it, okay? So A or B and A or C, you can expand it and making A, so it's the same as, uh, you know, if you have a addition and a multiplication in a or regular operation, arithmetic operation, you can do the same thing but here. It's pretty similar, okay? So A, so this one equals to A, and A or A and C or B and A or B and C. This one equals to this one. You can directly convert it into, into this version. Same thing, same stuff. Okay. Just A and A, we know that it is actually A. Okay. Now let's keep writing this down here. BA is AB, okay? And now we can take A out. And the left over here is gonna be one because one and A is still A. So we take A out. We get this. All right? And whenever you have a one in the OR operation, Everything here is going to be one because you have a better choice. You don't know what are B and C's, what are they? But you know this is a super good player. Just pick this up. They are going to win the game. So finally, you have A or B, C. Okay, very, very important rules uh, you need to know. So that's a conclusion we can get from here. But in the future, if you see something look like this, you directly use it, right? You'll see this a lot in the future. The second one. A and B or C is A and B or A and C. This is called uh, distrib distrib uh, distributive law or distribution law. The third one, A or A not B is A or B. Now let's prove it. So now, okay, if you still remember this conclusion here, so A or A not B is actually A or B, C. It's just different uh, symbols here. So actually this one, you can convert it back to this version. Okay, now let's see. A or B C equals to A or B A or B and A or C. And we know that this is one. Because A or A bar is one. If you forget this, just come back, go back to the last video and check out the table. We summarized uh, all these cases in the table. And this is one, one and A or B is actually A or B. So this is actually from here. So this one uh, is from the first one. All right. The next. A or B is B or A. <coughs> A 
So this is called commu communication law. Five. A or B bar, so A or B not will uh, equals to A not and B not and A or and B not is A not or B not. Okay, so you can remember this by you uh, by Remember is this in this way, okay? If you have a bar and operation, so if you split the bar and change the sign or change the operator, it's the same, it's the same result. Same thing here. You split the bar, you change the operator. They're the same. So this is super important. This is called De Morgan's law. Okay. Number six, x, y, so it's x and y, x, not z, y, z. The result is x, y, sorry, or x, not z. So I have a prime here, it's the same as a bar in, on, on the top, just same thing. I just want to uh, give you all the examples. Let you know uh, you know in the future if you see these ones in the problems, you know what are they? Okay. How to prove this? So the way to do that is um, so when you have three cases x, y, and z, and one of the case, and they are being combined in the form of tools, right? So this one combined to this one, this one combined to this one, this one combined to this one. And one of these three cases is being inversed in one of the term. So whenever you see this, um, the, uh, the the one have this case and also the inverse case, these two terms are kind of valid and the other term here is actually redundant. So this is a called the consensus law or consensus theorem. Consensus theorem. Okay, you can simplify this circuit or this logic expression into this way. Okay, so why is this? Let's uh, let's try to prove it. So this one equals to x y or x not z or so what we are going to do is we are going to uh, add a term in the front of this term which is x plus x not because this is one and one and everything is still this same so it's not changing the result and now we expand it. And now we combine these ones, combine uh, these two and these two. And this is, we know uh, this, there's a one super good player, so we just ignore this guy in the OR operation. So this is gonna be one, and this is gonna be one. And final result will be x, y, or x nazi, so which is here. So this one's got proof. Okay. And I will give you some examples by, uh, you know, these examples are going to use this, some of the laws or theorems. So you get uh, practice on these things. All right, examples. Y is B A C not B not A uh, C not B C not. 
So how do we simplify this thing? Since we have AC not here as a common term, so we can combine this two. It's going to be B or B not, AC not, BC not. And then this one is going to be one. So we know this result will be AC not, BC not. Okay. What about this one? So actually, this is super simple. You just take A out from there. And this is 1, so it's going to be A. Right? So what about this? What about this? So since you have C and C naught, so if you take this common term out of it, you will have a one by combining C and uh, C or C C naught. So let's do it. So this will be one, and you are going to have A B or A B naught, and you take A out. And you finally got A. All right. And uh, the last example, which is a little, a little bit uh, complicated, I think. So this is going to be example four, okay? Y equals to uh, A plus four B or C, A or B not or C, A or B or C not. Okay. Um, so here you have something or something and something or something. If you look at the first, the first theorem I introduced today, which is a fundamental one, A or something and A or something else will be A or this and this. Okay, just remember this format. A or something, A or something else will be A or these two things combined. Because this one is pretty useful since this entire thing here is going to be zero. Right? And let's, um, so we combine these two terms. And we still have this one to deal with. So what's next? Still the same concept. A or something, A or something else, right? So we can use the same concept. It's going to be A or something, A or something else. It's going to be A or. Let's combine this. B, uh, B not or C. Okay? And then this equals to A or B, B not, or B, C, which is A or, this is zero, B, C. That's the final result. So you'll see this a lot. Just keep in mind, you know, how to convert uh, all these, simplify all these logic expressions using this term, this result conclusion from here, not only in this direction, but also in this direction. If you see that, okay. All right. Well, uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.